Worldwide, CoreRadio.com, you're rocking with the best. You know. Every who. Thursday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. You, it's, this is called Unleashed. <laughs> and my tagline to this show, well, our tagline to this show is, I can't believe he said that. So, mm -hmm. no, we don't have the, the, the FCC <laughs> restrictions that normally weigh down on the show like this. We basically can say what we want to say. You know, well, I decided that I'm going to talk my shit. I ain't gonna just be cussing and fussing all through this shit, man. Ain't nothing professional about that shit, man. You never know who listening, man. For sure. You know what it is with this. Shout out to my daughter, Maya Simone. She at Wayne State, man. She an engineer. She a freshman. Wayne State in that engineering no. program. So for everybody who think the dog face is just on some ignorant shit, mm -hmm. I have produced offspring who are making it happen, goddammit. Oh, yeah, and listen, yeah. I already told her I want that vet when she graduates. <laughs> you know, I don't want to play no motherfucking game with that shit. But listen. We got Big Gov in the motherfucking man, building. What is the, the Southwest deal? bully in the building. What is the deal, my nigga? What's up? What's up, though? I mean, that's Shit, man. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all know nigga. what it is, man. That's hey, listen. Real nigga death. <laughs> black Gov. You know what it is? Where did the Black Gov thing come from, bro? I mean, basically, man, it just came from an idea that I got, man. One day in high school, I was taking a government class, man, and I, I was kind of infatuated by the way the government takes over and run shit and I, I figured you know at the crew the crew that I was with at the time you know what I'm saying we I, I felt like we was the best out so you know what I'm saying I just ran with the name black government you know I always wore black and all my homies wore black so it was just one of them situations where you know it's fuck it we the black government we running this shit you know what I'm saying right 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 and it, it just, but you know over time like a definition came you know mm. what I'm saying and, and and now you know the older that I got and the more I look at the game, it's, it's more so like, I mean, it, it's more so uh, of what we can give back to the people that we reach with the music, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's not so much more about us feeling like we running shit no more, you know what I'm saying? Right, it, it's, right. it's more about, because, shit, I don't know if everybody been checking the temperature, but man, we've been out here doing food drives, food giveaways, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, it, it's, it's deeper than just a group of niggas that rap saying they run shit, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. It's, it's deeper now. Okay, so listen, man. Uh, mm, let's see. Well, where do we start, man? The new project, No More Mr. Nice Guy. Mr. Nice Gov, yeah. I oh, to, no. No More Mr. Nice Gov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to I had to do it, man. DJ Pest? What did Pest, Pest do on there? I mean, shit, he, he pretty much, you know, hosted the motherfucker. My nigga DJ Cash just came, produced it, put it together. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right. But, um... I'll shout out to Pest, man. You know, he's yeah. part of the family, man. So, concept, No More Mr. Nice Gov. Who, what, what nigga made you mad? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> every every nigga in the rap game. You are an angry motherfucker. Let me I, just stop this, cause listen, I'm an angry son of a bitch. Hey. But when I met this nigga, listen, we, we had studios right next to each other, right? Mm -hmm. So I went over there, this nigga, I, I don't know, I don't know, this nigga was playing doing some shit, right, right? This nigga was banging some shit, I couldn't even record my shit. You hear me? So I went over there knocking on the nice, because I know this nigga got them hammers. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, I get a hammer too, but you know, when you got nigga got hammers, yeah, right? Yeah. I walked in that bitch, it was a thousand niggas in that bitch. <laughs> all angry looking niggas with all black on. <laughs> I said, this nigga right here is something different, right? Sure. So listen, uh, shit. niggas that made you mad. Yeah. You want to talk about it or you want to just. Hey, man, you know me, nigga. I don't give a hot hey. All right, so, I mean, what do you mean, mean, mate? Rap niggas or just nigga hey, niggas? Man, I'm going to put it to you like this, man. I've been doing this shit since 1985, man. I was five years old. I recorded my first song. My daddy was a temptation, all type of shit, right? And I feel like everything that I do for this motherfucking city, man, like, when I go in and out of town, you know what I'm saying? I put on for this motherfucker, and I, I, I do a good job because anytime you get legends like DJ Quick, Richie Rich, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like that fucking with me out there in, in on the West yeah. Coast. Then I go to Atlanta, niggas fucking with me in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like when I represent for the city, you know, I, I give it my all. And then when I come home and see that the city ain't representing for me, like I'm representing for it, it kind of like, it, 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 it really kind of throws me off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I'm, I'm more so mad at the industry in Detroit because it's like, niggas let this shit die. In a sense, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Niggas let this shit turn into some bullshit. And and this is not, this ain't where I'm from, man. I'm from the era of... I was a little nigga, but I'm from the era of Merciless Amir, AWOL, Detroit Most Wanted. Mm -hmm. All the hard niggas, J to the D, Box, all them niggas who, you know, really put Detroit hip-hop on the map, my nigga. Right, right. And, I, and I feel like a lot of these clowns let this shit 
you know, dwindled down into some bullshit trying to follow the fads of all the rest of these gay ass niggas in the industry. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, listen. We talked about skinny jeans. I mean, that, that shit is a, a lost topic in my in my mm -hmm. eyes, man. I, I look at it like this, man. You can only watch so much TV before you get exposed. And the fact of the matter is, we all know Levi's, Lee Jeans, Top Tens, Adidas, and like, this was Detroit. Campaign hats, hoodies. We even went to went to the Dickies and all that, but to see what niggas is doing now because they want to follow the trends of a Drake or a, or a, or a motherfucking Lil Wayne or the rest of these clown ass niggas who's making it cool to be a clown. Like that's what this shit is about. This this shit is clown music nowadays. Right. It's not real shit no more. Well, come here and ask you a question, bro. DK Drastic, big glove in the building, yeah. black glove representer, my man Face Mob back there. Session Street Money Film Worldwide Core Radio dot com. You rocking with the best unleashing man face today, shit, bitch. What you know what it is? Listen, Black Girl. Right. Listen. Top five rappers dead or alive. I ask everybody this. I gotta ask you. Top five rappers dead or alive. Scarface. All right. Motherfucking Church. um. Church. Shit. Of course, Nas. I gotta put Nas mm, there. Yeah. Rock him. Right. Um. Uh, shit, man. It's hard because I don't really fuck with a lot of niggas. But I, I will say this, though. Royce is in my top five, man. Word. And that, that ain't just because it's my nigga and he from my city. That nigga go hard, man. Word. And I, I I respect the nigga spit game. So I got to put him in my top five. That's just off top because I feel like he underrated. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And fifth would be Pac, man, for sure. Because mm -hmm. you can't. How, how can you not put him up there? You know what I'm saying? Okay, listen. I ain't got no problem with none of that shit. No, but this is America. This is not communist China. This is not Mao Zedong's regime. Right. So nigga, I'm got no problem with nothing he just said. Right. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Royce, the whole MIC Shady Records fam, Bizzle, Fat Boy, aka Chicken Eat, Mike B, eat up all the chicken on the nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. Hey, listen. Okay, listen. If you had to, if 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 you were to pay money to see somebody rap right now, right now from Detroit. Mm -hmm. Not Big Sean, not Dusty Hell McFly, no. none of that shit. Give me the, the underground, the top under, the underground independent artist right now operating in the city of Detroit who you would pay to see perform. Man, I would have to show. say, I would have to say, for one, y'all, y'all my family, and I know y'all go hard because y'all grind is crazy. So it'd be nerve, you, you know what I'm saying for show. Sure. I appreciate that. Um, to be honest with you, man, I, I, you know my nigga Jeter from um. My nigga Jeter from from Rockmo Entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to get up on him. That's a hard. That nigga's hard. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's hard. hard. Um, shit. And everybody, uh, everybody else would be like niggas I fuck with. Oh, my nigga Jimmy, of course, from Pipeline Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And, and us, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Okay, so listen. Do do you think, as a whole, what the f why 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 are the the major labels not reaching their hand? Into the rap world in Detroit. Why is it just one, Dusty one and reason, Big Sean and M? One reason. What's the problem? Awesome Dre. Mm -hmm. I was locked up. <laughs> so what's up with the Awesome Dre effect? That's my nigga. I right. love him to death. And right. he's a legend and one of my idols. Right, right. But he gave us a black eye in a sense, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? The priority situation, he went out there and nutted uh -huh. up in the offices and all right, that. Right, right. From that point on, the city been blackballed. You mm -hmm. feel me? And... Truth but, be told, but with all the talent though, can man, one listen, motherfucker twenty years ago still be still niggas that have way? to niggas have to really go out of town to actually get what they need to get. First off, you gotta look at it like this, man. The obvious thing is, there's no machine in Detroit. There's no major nothing here. No push. Period. No, right. there's nothing here. Detroit is not even considered a market anymore in the industry. You feel the bag ain't even here no more. Right. It's <laughs> fucked up. So this is the reason why Jeezy could come to this motherfucker. And the city act like the president in town mm -hmm. when he here, and he able to go back to Atlanta and make a song called "I'm a D Boy." Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like this is because we don't have Detroit lost faith in their own. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And we've been off the right. market so long to where when the, when when you get niggas like the Cash Out Dope Boys, it's damn near like a breath of fresh air because they putting on for the city. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just crazy, man. But a lot of these young niggas, man, you know the young niggas who. In the game right now, they they really don't respect the OGs of this shit, man. And I, I feel like you know it, it's it's pretty much taking over because like, and it's no disrespect to the Cash Out Doughboys. I love them little niggas, but it's it's predecessors. Mm -hmm. And I don't I don't think 
that the young niggas who out here getting their credibility and getting they, they getting the love that they get, they don't pay no homage to the niggas who really was before them. And, Should and they don't? Do they have a? I, do they have a? I really tradition? feel like they do. Do, do they have a? How you say yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. A fiduciary? E C T E D K. Do they have a motherfucking responsibility to pay homage to a motherfucker, or is it just their job just to blow themselves up? Bro? I honestly feel like. You know, if, if motherfuckers was about Detroit like motherfuckers say they're about Detroit, I really feel like they would. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like it wouldn't be such about, it wouldn't be so much about self. You know what I'm saying? Because me, myself, I give props to every nigga before me and every nigga to come. You know what I'm saying? You're rocking with the best. WorldwideCoreRadio.com. We're going to pay a few bills right now. Domain in the building. He on the board. Big Gov, Black Gov, DK, Razzle, Face, no. Oh, that's a beautiful motherfucking oh, man, thing. It, it is what it is, man. We're going to pay a few bills, man. You rocking with the best. WorldwideCoreRadio.com, bitch.